I'm going to show you how I jazzed up my RV from this to this by using peel and stick backsplash tiles. Hi, Weekend Warrior family. Or if you're new here, I'm Randy. And every Thursday, I share tips to help us make every moment count because weekends are just too short. Well, if you want a cheap way to jazz up your RV, this video's for you. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I installed peel and stick backsplash tiles in my RV kitchen so that you can use this RV decorating idea too. It was a little tricky at times, as you're about to see, but if you follow my tips, you're sure to avoid any mistakes. So this is a before shot, and the area I wanna do is right here in the kitchen around the kitchen sink and around the big window. I think it'll just separate the kitchen area from the rest of the RV and just really jazz things up. I got two different colors, let me show you. Not sure which one I wanna use yet. I got a copper and also a silver. And this is what was inside the box. The first thing I need to do is remove the balance. And that was easy to do because it was just held on by Velcro. The next step is to remove all four corners from the window shade frame. And this is the screws that are holding the window in, so I need to take these off. This is a screwdriver kit, and of course this is a screwdriver. And I'm gonna use a number two square bit to put into the screwdriver. Okay, we got that one out. This is how to remove the window frame from my little guy Max trailer. So removing yours might be different, but the concept should be similar. And this is what it looks like with a screen and curtain frame removed. That wasn't too hard, so now I've got to wipe down the walls and make sure they're nice and clean so that the sticky part will stick to the walls. There's a lot of dirt up here after taking the frame off, so be sure to really get this nice and clean so the tile adheres to the wall. My RV wallpaper has specks of both silver and light beige in it, so I thought either silver or a bronzy copper color might complement the existing color scheme. I wasn't sure which to pick, so I asked for your opinion on my YouTube channel community tab and you guys offered fantastic feedback. Thank you to everybody who helped me pick my color. And I chose copper, because I thought the deeper color would add just a little more pizzazz. This area isn't perfectly square, especially around the window frame. So as I'm planning my tile placement, I want to make sure that the tiles align along the outer edges of the wall, because any cuts made here will be more noticeable. I'm using paper to create a template for each tile, and I thought using an X-Acto knife would be the easiest way to do this, but using a pencil worked better for me. It was easier to create an outline around the window while holding the paper in place. Then I used the paper frame to pencil in my cuts on the tile. To cut the tile, once again, I tried to use an X-Acto knife, but cutting through the tile was tough. A sharp scissors worked best for me. After creating a template, Cutting the tile and making sure it fit in the space, I taped each piece of tile to the wall. We do this because we want to get our tile placement right before the tiles are adhered to the wall. I wasn't concerned about getting the cuts around the window frame just perfect because this part will not be visible when the window shade covering is put back on. Always make sure your paper template fits very well on the wall before you cut your tile to avoid redo mistakes and the need to use more tiles than necessary. I want to hear your RV decor ideas. Share them with me in the video comment section below. I'm always learning from you guys.
Oh, it's really coming along nice. Down to the home stretch. When piecing in the middle tiles, always make sure there's a grout line between the two pieces. For this, the X-Acto knife worked perfectly for cutting tile along the grout line. Now that I have all the tile pieces laid out how I want them, it's time to take them off and stick them to the wall. This first tile wasn't too hard to get in place. And after it was placed on the wall where I wanted it, I pressed on the tiles to secure them in place. And make sure you get around the edges too. I am struggling to get this one in place. It was sticking to the wall before I had it placed where I wanted it, and I mean, it was really sticking. I kind of went into panic mode and quickly tried to remove it before it was stuck on permanently. Ah, that was really frustrating. Oh my gosh. I'm at the cut another piece to go in there and I hope that I can get it to align just where I want it so that it doesn't stick like that again. This might be tougher than I thought it was going to be. I decided to keep moving along and come back to that tile. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this. The last two went much better than the second one I tried, so I'm going to keep on going. By sticking the tile to the outer edges first while holding the rest of the tile out so this part doesn't stick before the edges are aligned made putting them in place much easier. I'm loving the way this is looking and am so excited to see what it's going to look like when it's all completed. Okay, the tiles are all on, except for the one that gave me trouble. So I need to cut out another tile piece for that area. I also double checked each piece of tile before sticking it to the wall to make sure it was a good fit. And this one needs trimming. Now it fits much better. Okay, let's try this one again. <laughs> Shoot, this one has given me trouble again, but it wasn't as tightly secured to the walls last time. So after another attempt, I was able to place it where I wanted it. And sticking the other two pieces in place worked beautifully. This box came with a set of 10 11 by 8 inch square tiles and I have three left. The cost for a box was just $55 so this is definitely a cheap decorating idea and just a way to jazz things up. I'm excited to put the window back on so I can see what this peel and stick tile RV decor project is going to look like. My husband Tom helped me put the window back on and he wasn't able to get through the tile with a screwdriver so he used a drill. I really love how this looks. And I'm wondering, have you used stick and peel tile to decorate your RV? Let me know how your installation went.
If you want more fun RV upgrades, modifications, and tips and tricks, I put together a playlist of my favorites, including how I converted my RV mattress into a five-star like hotel bed. I'll leave a link to that playlist right up here and in the video description below. So be sure to watch that next. Well, that's it for this episode, and I can't wait to see you next Thursday.